Ramona. I'm the lead artist at the Young and Art Museum, and today we're going to be doing some fun art. So let's get started. Today we're making this cardboard cactus. You can use cardboard that you find in packages that are delivered to your home. You can use paint if you have any. If not, I do have options on how to make this project using markers, colored pencils, even crayons. So you will need cardboard, scissors, a pencil, green paint, a paintbrush, and if you don't have paint, you can use markers, pencils, or crayons. Okay, so to get started, the first things you're going to do is to deconstruct your cardboard boxes. You just grab some scissors and try to cut it into small pieces, not too, too small. These are your cactus pieces after all, and you'll see what I mean later on. So I'm just cutting them between four inches and six inches, all varying sizes and shapes. So I'm drawing some ovals. I'm also drawing some kind of bulbous shapes for the cactus pieces. And you can be as creative as you want with these. You can even have a square cactus if you want. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. Next, you're going to cut out your shapes and you're going to cut slits on two sides of them. If you have a shape like this one that has three rounded parts, you're just going to cut a slit on each part. Once you have everything cut and prepared, you can start coloring. So you can color this in with markers if you have them. You can use colored pencils, you can use crayons. And what you're gonna do is you're going to draw the ribs of the cactus plant. And then you're gonna draw the little cactus spikes or the little needles on the, on the cactus. This doesn't have to look realistic. This can look as cartoonish as you want. In the end, it's still gonna look like a cute little plant. So as I said, you can use colored pencils, you can use crayons, anything you have at home. If not, you can use paint, like I'll show you now. Now using paint is great because you get to cover up all of those nice delivery symbols and anything that is still on the cardboard that you couldn't get off. Now as for paint, you can use acrylic paint, but watch out, it is permanent if you get it on any clothing. Here I'm using a little bit of yellow with my green to make a lime green. You can also use white, you can use black, you can use any colors. Last, you're gonna grab a long piece of cardboard. You're going to fold it so that it makes a little box. You cut two little slits on either side of the ends, and you're gonna see that they can be interlocked together and then you don't need to use any glue or tape to put together the base for your cactus. Now you can start building your cactus. Make sure that your pieces are nice and dry and you can actually interlock them together however you want. This is a modular sculpture, so it can change. You can set it up however you want it to be. If one day you want your cactus to look one way and the next day you want it to look different, it allows you to do that. This is a nice little buddy to have on your art desk or even near a window. And what's best about this plant is that you never have to water it, so it's never going to die. This is a great way to use old cardboard and uh, make sure that you use all those resources you have to make beautiful art for your home. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you try this project out. I hope to see you all soon and enjoy. Have a good one.